I would just like to say, how dare you kill me? And you'll probably pay for it in the afterlife. <laughs> When they first approached me to do this game, I really didn't know anything about Scarlet. Um, and the only character description they gave for me was sort of that she was a British Harley. And the similarity to Harley and Scarlet is they start out nice. They start out um, interested in science and learning things and um, just being a sort of studious person and part of society and then they go that very, very bad. So. Scarlet also goes very bad and her transformation throughout the game is pretty fascinating and as a voice actor pretty fun to do. Scarlet in my mind is someone who's very motivated and um, very persistent. She's not afraid of anything. She has a goal in mind and it doesn't matter who's in her way, they better get out of it. <laughs> and she's um, just an intriguing character because she's so absolutely crazy and evil and really has no remorse or guilt about anything she does so as a person that's a little bit hard to relate to but as a character it's really fun to play it's always fun to play the bad girl or the bad guy i think when you're truly portraying an evil character you don't think of yourself as evil you think of yourself as having a vision or a goal and for scarlet um the whole time she would never even think of saying I'm evil she just is and she embodies that quality of wanting to take over and make things her way and it's all about a motivation and a goal that she has in mind and I think evil is sort of a um, something that gets pegged on her because she is but in her mind she's just going towards a goal when you're in the moment and you're envisioning each scene that's going to dictate to you how you're reading and when Scarlet's sweeter and nicer and more innocent, that comes out vocally. And for me as the voice actor, I sort of portray that by not pushing too hard or screaming, or um, when you see her in moments when she's even a teenager, that my vocal placement will be higher than when she's full force into her evil land where it'll be deeper and darker and um, some more sort of gravel in her voice and some more ups and downs when she gets really crazy. So it's sort of all about this scale as the voice actor where you see how far you can push it. And because Scarlet's so crazy, I have this amazing platform to go from crazy highs to crazy lows and then somewhere in between. And probably when the fans are relating to her is more of the sort of realistic vocal tones of an actual teenager or young person experiencing life for the first time. And so for me, all those moments again come out of really being in each moment.